Hey everybody, it's Brad at Select Roses. We wanted to spend a few minutes today showing you how to prune climbing roses. This is the early part of April. You can see the growth is already starting on these climbers and we're a bit late pruning this year, but it's still completely okay to prune when you have growth like this. Overall, I want you to see that I've already thinned out part of the plant. This variety is called Red Corsair. It makes a ton of new growth every year. So what we try and do is train the new growth in we cut the old growth out right down to the base of the plant. This variety color codes things for us. You can see here the silver wood, which is the older wood on the plant, it starts to become non-productive. And you see the smoother canes, this is a deeper color, usually the reddish or more green. And these are the ones we want to train in on an angle. And you see what we're going to do here. We're going to pull them down to the fence like this. And this will give us at least 50% more blooms by having the canes bent over because the side laterals are going to be coming up. I'm going to show you another thing we want to do. Low down on the plant. These are a couple canes during my pruning that I've just thinned off. But you can see how they're a bit yellow in there. So rather than leave stubs like this, you'll cut these right off at the base of the plant, just like that. You can see the stubs from the previous. This is probably a 20 year old plant down there. Now, if the cane is a little too big like that, you'll have to use what's called a pruning saw. Take a look at this. This is a very handy tool. So we will open this up and we're gonna go in here. There's a small cane there I'll cut out and I'll cut this one with a pruning saw. Now, sometimes the rose will give a fairly young, nice cane like this at the front of the bush, but we have a ditch here that gets mowed. So if I can't train this back to the fence, I might even cut this cane off. The whole idea is to fan this out on the fence going both ways. There'll always be new shoots coming up in the middle, so we're not worrying about leaving that empty. This same variety we have down here, I haven't touched this one at all, so I want you to see it looks like quite a mess still but you can see the darker growth here. This is the nice new young wood that's coming in. Here's what we'll be taking out all together. So that piece, I'll be taking it out at the base of the plant and I'll be tying in all the nice new canes here. Look at some old wood here. You see how it's completely dry. That's not going to produce anything. So we'll be cutting this down at the base of the plant, tying it all in. We have one climber that's pulled the fence right over We'll be trimming this one off, repairing the fence. So what you see here will be taken down by at least 50%. That's an established climber and we'll still have tons of bloom late May, early June. We'll do another quick video once we've done the pruning so you can see what they look like. Thanks a lot. Hey everybody, Brad at Select Roses. This is the follow-up to the other video we did on pruning your climbing roses. So this one I've gone through and pruned, and if you want to take a look at it here, you'll see how I fanned the plant out on the fence. I removed a whole pile of the old wood, the dead wood, the unproductive wood, anything that looked diseased. And if you look right to the top of the plant, you'll see where it flowered last year. We have some of the seed pods on there. And if you have the time and you want to tidy them off, you can go ahead and trim those off the top like that. Other people have asked me on a climber, when do you stop pruning it? And I'll say, you know what, when you're tired. Because even if we don't cut those seed pods off, it's still going to bloom fine. But I'm going to go along and do just a few more little tidy up uh, prunings on here, pick up the little bits. We've tied in the plant so it's spread out both ways. And then you can see I've left some up in the middle. So this plant is going to flower from the bottom of the fence post right up around the top in a nice fan shape. I've left this one cane down here that was a young cane and I've cut it which looks like a bit of an awkward stub but because it was a young cane my hope is that it's going to branch off and I'll have some new wood that I can tie in to the fence later on in the season. I'm going to move down and do the other ones but that will take me oh probably another couple hours to get that done. Thank you very much.